Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. But 618, welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Hey, it's Friday, the weekend is just about here, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe some rain comes with it, huh? Yeah, we've got rain in the forecast, which will be really nice and welcome for mm -hmm. a lot of folks yeah. out there, but not everybody's going to get a shot at some rain. Let's take a look at this morning. We've got temperatures in the 50s and the 60s. We're looking at a pretty comfortable morning. Uh, and we're looking at uh, temperatures 58 degrees uh, and 55 degrees there in Bismarck and into Minot, 60 in Dickinson, and then 58 there in Williston. Wind speeds out of the uh, the south and the east, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Also pretty calm as well. These are not going to pick up. They'll mostly become southerly later on today. But we do have some patchy, dense fog out there. As you can see, for north central and eastern North Dakota, we've got some reduced visibility. This is mostly due to fog, but we do have some smoke mixed in with this as well. I did get a report that the fog uh, has that smoky scent to it and of course we know that's uh, of course some of that patchy smoke that's been lingering since yesterday I do believe that's going to stick around for today so we do have that uh, that haze today the fog lifts but the smoke will stay uh, a mostly sunny day and a hazy afternoon that's going to really play a role on our temperatures later on today or at least I should say it could so we're looking at also a big cool down as well as rain chances on the way for the weekend here's a kind of a simulation of the upper atmosphere smoke and you can see here uh, all this smoke Smoke here that you see has come from wildfires in parts of western United States here and even up into Canada. It's made its way into the upper plains and into the eastern part of our country as well. So it's pretty thick above us. It has translated down to the ground level and in some cases it's uh, rather rather thick. So we're looking at that smoke all the way over making its way closer towards Europe. When it makes its way over the ridges and through the troughs, sometimes it'll sort of condense a little bit. That's why it looks a little thicker in the uh, upper Atlantic there. So for our temperatures today, we're mostly into the 80s and the 90s. But we're going to see potentially these numbers uh, get downgraded a little bit into the afternoon. We have to monitor this because the haze could really uh, play a number on these temperatures. We're back to the 90s for many, a few 80s out there. Low 90s for Bismarck and into Dickinson. Uh, low 90s there for Medora. You head to the north, some of the cool spots in the 80s off towards the uh, north. So it's going to be a hot one out there today, but again, we're going to be monitoring those temperatures because the haze could play an effect, especially in the north and into the east today. So uh, we've got a mostly sunny day out there. We've got slight chances for some isolated rain overnight tonight. You can see that here in this model here, mostly the Highway 2 corridor. We head into tomorrow with about a 20% chance to see some scattered rain and maybe a storm or two, but the best chance will come in the evening tomorrow and into the overnight. Uh, notice as I take this into uh, Sunday morning, we're going to keep that chance for some rain and storms. Uh, cold Cold front and high pressure is going to move in from the north to the south, and that's going to clear us out. It's going to pick the wind speeds up, and it's also going to cool us down. We're only in the 70s on Sunday. You can see here the seven day forecast, uh, slight chances for some rain and storms still lingering into Monday, and then we've got some temperatures heating back up towards the middle and end of next week. A cool down for Sunday again, as you can see there for Bismarck and Dickinson, and then we're warming back up to the 80s for the middle of the work week. All right, Amber, you have a pretty big day coming up here mm -hmm. pretty soon. I do. Next Saturday, we've been talking about this for about about a month now. Mm -hmm. I am rappelling down the side of the Parker building in downtown Ooh. Minot, eight stories. Better you than me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm kind of uh, kind of afraid of heights. Might so want to muffle your ears. It'll be interesting, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm a crier too, so that doesn't help. Oh, no. It's a little embarrassing. But apparently, uh, according to the marketing director, that's good TV, so it might be on TV. Uh, so we do uh -huh. have, uh, the reason why we're doing this is because the reason why I'm doing this is because it's for the women and children's shelter in Minot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to raise $2,000. Now here's the thing. My goal was originally $1,000 and that was to get me to repel. It's happening. Mm -hmm. The reason why I actually had raised my goal here is because uh, the, the shelter itself is still below where they want to be for their goal. So they still have a week left and I want to yeah. help. So if you want to donate Every little bit counts. We've gotten donations of, of, of just a few bucks uh, here and there. If you see me out and about, I've actually had people give me cash, and I put it in for them. So I've been there with her. Five or ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, and, and I'll put it in for you. It's safe. Uh, and again, it goes right back into mm -hmm. the women and children's shelter, That's which great. I can attest. I, you know, they they do a lot of good work there. I spent mm -hmm. a lot of time in that shelter, mm -hmm. and it's amazing what what comes out. I still think if you hit two thousand, you know, we should. Give a little more, you know, maybe you should give the forecast while you're repelling down <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah. I don't while know. I'm crying? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, you know, <laughs> up the ante a little bit or we'll something. We'll see. Yeah, it's right. going to yeah. be hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. Thanks, Amber. Still ahead on...